Hello and welcome to a big reactors tutorial. This is going to be a continuation of the big turbines tutorial where we're looking at the efficiency of the various metals that you can use as coils. Uh, on the screen on the left hand side there will be a spreadsheet with the coil efficiencies uh, going from least efficient to most efficient of the available blocks that I have in this mod pack. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started so you can see this in the GUI. Iron produces 480, gold produces 1680, copper produces 691, silver produces 1224, lead produces 904, shiny metal produces 3600, mana infused uh, ingots, which also is known as mithril, produces 1584. Electrum produces 2392. Invar produces 1008. Tinker's alloy, bronze, and brass all produce 806. Enderium produces 5110. This is the only reactor that I had that required 8 blades, I mean 12 blades, the rest of the reactors only required 8 blades to get up to the maximum efficiency. Steel, which produces 936. Brass, which I've already mentioned, produces 806. Zinc produces 842. And I do have Metallurgy 4 in installed, but the blocks do not work with the reactor uh, for creating multi-block structure. For example, I have Engemelian, I don't know what, how do you pronounce that, anyway it's iron and gold combination, and uh, when you add the block there it doesn't create a multi-block structure, so for whatever reason big reactors and metallurgy 4 do not play nice with each other, which is sad. Any in any case, all these reactors used a single coil, which is uh, 8 blocks of the specific metal type. Uh, anyway, I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that this helps shed light on what metals are the best for efficiency. As expected, enderium is the best metal for a coil. In any case, I hope you enjoyed. Bye bye now.